This is lesson 71, and I thought we'd uh, we, we revisit a site that uh, we, we've been to earlier in the in the series of, of lessons and that. And this place is called uh, Bamber Castle. I painted Bamber Castle, but I'm taking this view of an evening in Bamber Castle, standing on Holy Island or Lindisfarne. So I'm looking across the water to Bamber Castle and the, the surrounding area. There's water in the middle there, and here's the, one, the land I'm standing on. And it's an evening sky. The colours I've got for you is raw sienna, alizarin crimson, French ultramarine plus burnt umber mixed together, and then we'll add little bits as we go along. But they're, they're the main setup, so uh, let's get painting, shall we? I'm just putting a wash of clean water over the picture using my trusty two inch brush. Speeds things up a bit with this. All over everything. There we are, we've got, a, we've got a coat of water on there now. Now let's get, get some a bit of brush onto this. And so the, the sky, as I say, it's an evening sky, so what I want to do is sort of uh, make the, the, the Bambra a silhouette effect, and then just a, this little bit of detail in the foreground here, so we'll see where we go. So th I'm getting the evening glow first, that's, that's what I want, is this, this, this colour. That's, this is raw sienna, by the way. Clean my brush. And then I want some alizarin crimson. Let's put some alizarin crimson in this, shall we? And then the top of the sky, I want some ultramarine and burnt up. Let's put that up the top of the sky here. down here won't we what's upstairs is down below as well there's another coat just to that there it's a beautiful day here it's the it's uh, March the 30th I think and it's 24 degrees and I'm painting with the, the studio door open so if you get any weird noises, that's what it's what it's about. Let's have a look what we've got here. Let's see what colour we've got first. Let's get that on there. Touch down here. And what I might try to do is I'll have that little, little bit of a, a glow in this. I might put some alizarin crimson. and ultramarine and 
So to get some of this down by the into the sky at the bottom here like this. Bring it up there. Let's give it a, a statement, shall we? To do it, or I think I'd like. Uh, uh, shall we have this? We'll, we'll have the sun in this row. Touch of sunshine in it, just a, the setting sun. We'll have a largish one this time, just coming down low. It faces, of course, uh, as, as you know, the uh, uh, Holy Island is on, is on the east coast. So when we're looking back from there, we're looking west, aren't we? And that's where the where the sunshine is, of course. Or the setting sun will be. So pour a touch of sun round here like this. How about that? A nice touch of sun there. And we can start to work this a little bit now. That's the model brush. Introduce some rays of sun onto this as well I love messing about like this that's the horizon line there to do this colour into there. I think I should come across with this. Let's take this sun out in places. on its way down what's up there is going to come down here and so we're going to get these effects in the water right sun oh let's pull a touch of uh, Touch your light out, shall we, from the from the water there? Touch one of this side, flick it about it. again just here It's a, it's a sky picture, really. This, it's, it's the, the rest of it is silhouette. So, uh, the, the the better you make your sky, that the the nicer your picture will be. I'm, I'm fiddling now. I don't I don't like to fiddle. So, right, that's nice and dry now. Uh, I think what I'll do now is let's let's look at this. Uh, this uh, outline of the of the castle there. If I start at the left because I'm right-handed, and I work my way across, and there's, it's a, a silhouette effect. So 
I'm going to get this this land mass here. It's a beautiful place, you know. If you if, if you've never been, I do I do recommend it. This is a castle where where Sir Lancelot and Guinevere were supposed to be be at it, or whatever they're doing. So uh, it, it's worth worth the trip. Don't know what truth is in that, you know, but uh, that's what the the pundits are saying. And who am I to gossip? I don't know. So the the the, the outline of the castle is there. Various turrets as we go up there. Another turret there. And then there's the the the, the, the highest bit. This this was. This is turreted, so I better try and put, indicate one or two turrets on this. It flattens out there like a courtyard. And there's another tower at this side as well. But as a silhouette, as I said, it, it's it's quite nice. It's in fact the uh, the the flagpole is is about there. I, I remember to put that in. It should be quite nice against the evening sky. I give a little bit of shape to it so I can by by put an extra coat of paint on on certain areas to vary the, the intensity. various levels of this and if I can just suggest slightly different colours it, it should give the the castle a, a slightly well I'm not trying to do do a lot but uh, sort of a, a, where the light's catching certain areas it give us perhaps a three-dimensional look instead of just a flat flat uh, area That's across the water, and then the rest of the, the place comes down here. The village of Bambra. There's, there's bushes and trees and all sorts there, so I'm, I'm just making it a, a sort of a undulating edge. So it, it depicts a few, few bits and pieces out of it. A little bit of that colour out of there, if I can. Because the sun's catching there, and it's and it's it's taking some of the colour out of it. Not a lot. Oops.
there's some, there's some buildings here which which will rep, rep, represent. Um, if you hear noise, I'm, I'm, I'm painting with the studio door open because it's 24 degrees here and, it, and it's lovely. And I'm getting this time of the year, the, the, the robins after a mate, and I suppose they're all after a mate, but uh, the robins actually going going at it, Stay sticking its claim. Let's go darker again here because it's away from the sun. Dark in here. Because the light is any light that's coming is it's coming from that side, isn't it? I think I'll stick a flagpole in there. Before I forget. I don't know what it's not gonna be anything life threatening or earth shattering, it's 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 hopefully just a just a, a little line on the top there. There we are. Don't go mad. <laughs> right, that's the background done, isn't it? A little piece of land just here coming across. And then the main piece of land is down the bottom here, with like a sort of a, a jetty wall, and there's there's a boat here, and then the rest of the jetty. All this is land here. Right, so, so we'll see how we go from there. So I'll put that, that's that bit of land in there. I might put a touch of, touch of let's see, a burn tumber into this, just to, let's, let's mix a different mix and bring it forward. Make it a little bit warmer from uh, than, than what's at the background there. See that might be better. We'll have a look, see what's how we go. It's just a piece of a thin piece of well, it's like a spit, I suppose. It's just it's 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 above the water level, so it's so it's showing. High tide, it'll probably disappear. But if, you, if you're not sure where, where we are, it's just if you look at lesson number, I think it's number, number nine or something, it's, uh, it's the view from that side over here. I'm not running out of subject, I just fancy doing them over from this side. When you feel the urge, you've got to do it, you know. Sure, got enough. That should be all right. That a bit more there. Then the proper land, or, or the, the the actual land, what the holy island is, 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 is here, just in front of that. So we'll, we'll make something to that in a bit. I'll put that jetty jetty thing in now. A bit more of that burnt umber into it there. Let's see if we can put a little bit of detail in. Well, no, it's not detail, but it's... In fact, I think I'll use a chisel brush on that. That's chisel brush. Just as a quarter inch chisel brush. See how we go with that. Nice these chisel brushes. Mind the boat. Because there's some rough, rough stuff at the bottom here. Let's keep this, this jetty going.
not surprised the birds hang up. We feed them enough. It's like a posh hotel for them. There's that many bird feeders, they get more than me. And there's a sticky up bit on this as well. Lovely. All on the jetty end as well. That's nice. Right, this is this is it'll be darker at the front here. And just here is this, it's, this it's one or two bushes just here that it comes out, and uh, and then just a, a, more land. So I, I, I'll sort of put a, the, a base fixture of this, this land and stuff like this in first. Get some twiddly bits down here, it's, it's, it's nothing. This is just terrain. I like that word, terrain. I think we've we'll better slip a boat in there, haven't we? Oh, forget it. Let's have a boat in there. No, it's not going to be bright, it's because it's, it's, it's that time of night. But if we paint it sort of... Uh, if I paint it... I'll do, I'll, do the, I'll do the gunnel on it and see how we look. It, it might just pick up the, the light from, from the night. And uh, it could be a white boat here. Let's paint a gunnel on it. I'll paint something dark on it. A dark gunnel. Let's have a look. Get that right. That, uh, I think that's a bit white to here. Well, oh, that's too much that. Too much water on it. I'll just put some water on there just to slacken the dust. And I'm going to put some, put some of that blue on there. That's how we're in shadow, won't it? For a start. The underside of it will be will be dirty because it's not it's an ornament it's it's a it's a working boat. Right, let's anchor that boat to the floor. Too many, it's too wet just now. I'm just trying to get some of this, these, these silhouetted bushes in. Just here. Just use the side of the brush. Don't, uh, don't try and paint every leaf.
and then going across here we'll, we'll get a bit of a dart there it comes across from where the I'll put this this other dark in first there's a piece of dark coming across here like this then behind it the land has got a, a more a warmer tone so I'll slip that warmer tone in just there which is from where that, that jetty is there it comes down here There is a twiddly stuff sticking up. I have to make this right, really dark in this bottom corner here. That's what bring it right towards me. That's some French Ultra and some burnt umber. So you put the brakes on it that's and that give me something nice dark down here oh that's it that's what we need I said there's no detail on that because it's like a sand spit across there. Need a bit further. Do it breaks that sunshine up, it might be nice. And I don't you wouldn't you wouldn't get reflections and stuff like that in there at this time of night, it'd be it'd be just a the dark area it's reflecting the sky and uh, and of course the warmth there's a touch of warmth in this corner because the, 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 you, you're closer to you and you can see a little bit you've still got the glow of the sun on that side of that boat and that and, and some, some down here but, but basically it's a, it's a silhouette painting of a Bamber castle that's all it is it's nothing nothing special uh, do we need a bird ask myself do we need a bird Oh, go on then, we'll have one, shall we? I don't know how we do it for the money. To hell with the expense, we'll have a bird in. Of course, it's coastal, isn't it? So I think we should expect a gull. A gull, a gull. I don't want to, I don't want to, anything special, but just one flying over here. That's enough. I don't want to, I don't want to put a flock in, or we're in trouble. And that, folks, is, uh, is our little painting of Bambra. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed painting it. And if you did enjoy it, give us a like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one, which is Lesson 72. Until then, folks, it's goodbye. Goodbye.